welcome. Today I'm going to be uh, building on some of the beds I've already made and I'm also going to be putting in some new beds. So I shall talk you through what I'm going to do and show you what I'm going to do and then get on and do it. This bed here is right outside my front door and it's an ideal size for a raised bed being 1 meter 20 by 2 meters 40 I think it is but the trouble is that back bit there um, very rarely gets any water because of the, the, the way our roof is it uh, sort of has an overhang that kind of stops the water getting right to the back um, so not many of my crops grow very well but what I wanted to do was to raise the level um, on that back bit very similar to this sort of step up here on my asparagus bed and I'm going to put some perennial plants in the back just for prettiness really so that during the summer this brick wall will have some nice things against it um, and the other reason is because I can't get to that back wall and this is 1.2 meters it's quite hard to harvest anything from the back so I thought if I made that little step that would reduce this growing area to um, like 90 centimeters that way but that will give me easier access to all the crops so hopefully I'll have a pretty bit at the top and then it'll be easier for me to harvest these crops here so that is my first job this trailer I've decided to take all the compost out of there and I'm going to make it into a greenhouse so I'm gonna add glass well a glass it'll probably be the plastic sheeting um, in uh, to raise the height. I don't want it to be higher than my windowsill because I don't want to be sitting in my dining room looking out and um, uh, looking out onto some glass but um, I kind of figure with the depth of the trailer and then maybe about 40 centimeters of glass on top that will allow me to grow my um, peppers in here or aubergines next year so that is an ongoing project for the winter but it does mean i can use some of this compost to fill some of the beds i'm going to create today the next couple of beds i want to put in are where these plant pots are and where that plant pot is up there so uh, similarly i'm going to do the step idea so that at the back of the bed is just pretty perennial flowers that will attract uh, insects and pollinators early in the season and all the all the season through and then in the front will be a little square bed it won't be huge um, but it'll probably be about 60 centimeters it'll be enough for me to maybe grow two or three rows of onions or some salad crop something like that and then I'll put a pot either end there as well, just um, to maybe grow some outdoor cucumbers up and over the top. Uh, just, just a thought at the moment. And similarly, this one will have the same sort of bed in it. I don't want to make the beds too wide that way because then I'll have trouble getting in and harvesting again. So... Um, It'll be a shortish little bed here, but um, I think that will work well. And then when the, where these tubs of carrots are, they will have a set of shelves in them so the carrot tubs can sit, not necessarily carrot tubs, but you know, the, the tubs can sit in levels similarly to my strawberry um, shelves. And for those of you who haven't seen my strawberry shelves, these are them. And I'm actually, don't know why, but my strawberries are getting flowers on them. And some of them are still 
get in strawberries. I'm not really sure why that should be because some of them are then looking like this. Anyway, I'm digressing now. Let's get on and get those beds done. Well, the construction on this bed is now complete and all I've done is put some cardboard in the bottom to try and attract some worms up out of the um, the gravel and um, I've started to put some compost in here as well. This is some spent compost from my container pots that I grew bulbs in last year and if we come over to the other bed I've um, I've made a start in filling that bed up and essentially I'm just using the compost from here to do sort of like a first layer at the bottom just to get the height up and then I'll empty some of my compost from my compost heap because that needs doing as well um, and in here I've put the bulbs from last year that were in these pots I've just dumped in there and there and then there were some bulbs where the, the compost was dry so I've just separated them and I'll I'll just plant them in this part here so hopefully there'll be bulbs there, bulbs there and bulbs there and then I can work out what I'm going to put in the rest of it This is how my bed has ended up and I am very pleased with it. 
I have a bit of a gap in the middle because I, I want to buy a skimmia to go in there. Uh, I think it's a skimmia I want anyway, but I'll have a look. I just wanted something that was evergreen there um, because I've got my nephophias there, which will hopefully give a lovely display in the summer. And then the ivy and the collis is for the winter, along with the bulbs that are underneath for the spring. So I just kind of need something for next autumn. Uh, and um, we'll see how the bulbs look when they grow because um, they have kind of been planted in a bit of a haphazard way but I like it, I like this bed I think it looks a bit better than when it was all just flat I um, I quite like that there's um, some perennials that I don't have to do anything with quite frankly and then the veg is growing quite nicely in the front my spring onions have taken a bit of a battering because I've been walking on them. But um, apart from that, we'll see if the pak choy and the transplanted spring onions come to anything. Not pak choy, Swiss chard. But I thought I might as well try transplanting them and see how they get on. And here's the other bed. I'm really pleased with this one as well. I decided to put a fofia just in the middle. I was going to put one either side, but I, I kind of thought that might clutter it. And my idea was to put in a trellis up, uh, up this fence bit here. And then in pots at the side next spring or summer, I will grow some cucumbers. So um, I thought that if I put tuna fofia, they might shade out the cucumbers but I think one in the middle with maybe some bulbs and then uh, marigolds in the summer will be good and I'll probably put some onions in here the onions I've sowed um, for overwintering I'll put some of them in here and now I've run out of wood um, I've got a tiny little bit of wood left over but I will probably have to break up those pallets at the top there now to to make the the bed there and the shelves there the other good thing about doing those beds was uh, i could use the compost from the uh tomato bags in them so i didn't have to empty my compost heap which was good because when i actually looked at it um it's a, it's a big job to do that so i managed to get rid of the pots that were there and then they had the two um, bags over there with pots in so little by little we're tidying up for the, the winter so after all that shifting of uh, compost this morning I'm gonna sit and harvest these chilies now I got chilies here which uh, got the little ones which should be fierce and these big ones they haven't got much heat in them actually, but, but that's kind of how I like it. And then I got some red peppers over there. So I'll, um, I'll show you the harvest when I'm done. Here is the chilli harvest. Going to um, try Steve from Digwell Greenfingers' chilies in oil pickly thing, preserving technique for them. I'm going to try those ones. Uh, the other way he did it and there's some red peppers these are the uh, sort of like little lunchbox size ones that I thought would have given me more yield than they have but I'm wondering if I should have grown them outside rather than in the greenhouse um, because they seem to have ripened quicker since I moved the pot out to the greenhouse and similarly for the um, the long peppers as well. They seem to have ripened quicker as well. Well, that's it from me for today. I'm very pleased to have got those beds done at last. And uh, hopefully they'll, they'll work well next year for growing in. And just to give the garden a bit more colour. And um, hopefully give me a bit less work to do with having perennials around the place all the time and um, I'm really pleased with the chilli harvest and the uh, the peppers although the peppers haven't produced all that great this year I, uh, I'll need to get that 
trailer, uh, what was a trailer bed, and I need to get that working into a greenhouse for the chili, uh, the chilies and the peppers for next year. So that will all be coming over the winter, I'm sure, unless it's always raining, and then I'll be running around next spring doing it all then, like usual. Anyway, that's it from me for today. Thank you for watching, liking, subscribing and commenting if you have done so. It's really appreciated. And um, hopefully I'll catch you on the next one. All I can say about my work today is lovely job.